What are you doing? Have you still not donated to me? You can basically donate for free and plus it puts you in for shout out of the day. So there's a link down below called Gort Box where you can donate by downloading apps, games, etc. And obviously you guys get that stuff as well. And then from that you can also donate to someone as well. And obviously you guys are going to donate to me to support the channel. Yeah, I got you, you got me. You know what it is. I'm also in touch with a few companies as well where I'm going to start doing giveaways through that. So make sure you do it. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. You're a boss, mate. Appreciate that. You're a legend. Yo, what is going on? Welcome Gaming, it's Boy Sunny, and we are back with another episode of that Liverpool career. Oh, we're so close now to Manchester United. Are we going to catch them? We're going to have to wait and see. We could catch them in this very episode if everything goes according to plan. However, before I start, I just want to let you guys know three or four little things. Basically, I've got a donation link at the top of the description down below. I want you guys to donate to there. It's actually free to donate to keep the streams and the videos going. Also, follow me on all my social medias, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, all links in the description down below. Subscribe and like the video and follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash bros that game. Link is also in the description. We will be doing the finale of the Liverpool career mode over there and maybe even season two over there as well if you guys want to see season two. All right, so we left off with Coutinho literally looking like the man to beat. The guy's on fire. Can he do it in the next few games? I'm going to go with two games that you guys are going to watch without me on cam and then we'll come back with the cam and then we'll do a few more games. Let's get into it. Let's go get some wins. Okay, so the first game is at home, we're playing at Anfield, however, it's a big opposition playing against Bournemouth, especially as we sold storage to them as well, and they've had a good start to the season, so hopefully we can hold them back and maybe bag a few goals as well. We've also got a few players that we don't usually play, like James Milner's playing, we've also got Stuart playing in the middle, and also on the left-hand side, I decided to start Werner in that left forward position. I wanted to give him a chance, see what he could do. They got the first opportunity, Butler pulling off a good save, we did manage to get it clear from there as well, but like I said, they did get the first opportunity which scared me a little we needed to adapt we needed to get something for ourselves as well I play it into the middle through Stuart into Cancelo and that's a massive save from their goalkeeper making sure it also stays at nil nil trying to keep us at bay even though we know how hard that is because we do manage to pick up goals they also go ahead and smack the post there it's a big opportunity to Bournemouth luckily for us we do get the ball away and then we get ourselves another chance again through Timo Werner who plays it through into Aubameyang and he puts it into the back of the net one nil to Liverpool just like that and we should be pulling away with this win now. We did have the better of the chances, like I said, they did hit the post. However, Aubameyang just doesn't miss from those kind of positions. Put him in one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. He's popping that into the back of the net, mate. Makes it 1-0 to Liverpool. We then get our second opportunity in front of goal as Mohamed Salah takes on those defenders, sends them all to Tesco, goes for goal. Somehow misses that with the finesse into the, the bottom left corner. I'm not sure how he missed it. Came in off the bench, I believe, and did miss the opportunity to put us 2-0 up and then they go ahead and score through Jermaine Defoe. I do believe it was Daniel Sturridge who got the assist there as well so even more of a kick in the teeth. For some reason, he just decided it was actually a phobie. For some reason he decided to run the whole length of the pitch to get to his manager to, ma to hog his manager as well. Don't know why he's done that but that is exactly what he's done. We've got ourselves a big chance here as Aubameyang plays it forward. We get it into Bahamut and he pops it into the back of the net and he's offside. I don't know how i done that. I did wait a little bit too late to play the ball however I am going to blame it a little bit on button delay I believe I pressed the pass before we made it for that run and I think I should have actually thought about that before pre press pressing the pass so it's both my fault and the game's fault however we don't manage to get a goal they do get themselves two big chances at the end of the game and that is the way it ends so we ended 1-1 which means we pick up a point which means we've dropped vital points in our chase after Manchester United in the Premier League but like I said we're trying to pick up points we're still trying to win that Premier League title and we can always just try and catch them if that makes sense we've always got the opportunities to try and catch them we could do that in the future second game as as you can see, I'm just moving the team around here. I'm just going to put that in for you guys because I forgot to record the intro to the game. Let's get straight into the game then. And you probably noticed in the team sheet, Coutinho also made his return to the team as well. And you're going to see he's a huge part in this game as he plays it over the top into the right-hand side to Mane, who takes it on first time, whips it into the middle. Mbappe puts that into the back of the net against Stoke City, making it 1-0 within the first few minutes. And literally straight from kickoff, we've just smashed that one into the back of the net. Lovely ball over the top from Philip. 
Philip Coutinho and you could say that is what we're missing as he literally sends a few players to Tesco, plays it back, goes into Mbappe and once again Mbappe finishes his dinner in front of goal and Coutinho has been a huge game changer you could say. The way that he's coming to the squad, pass the ball around, literally playing those key passes that actually ended up in assists and then they play it forward into Mbappe and all of a sudden Mbappe always finishes his dinner. We already know that but Coutinho is creating the chances and maybe that's what we've been missing, that Brazilian wizard to play those balls through. As you can see, we get forward again, Coutinho! And we just missed the opportunity to give him the perfect debut back in the squad. Plays that forward, makes his run all the way from the halfway line, gets into the box, smashes at it, and for some reason, it just misses at the near post. We should be 3-0 three, three up there. We could have won this game, maybe 3 or 4-0 as we get forward again with Mane. Mane should be finishing his dinner, and for some reason, he scoffed the ball wide. It's a really bad finish. Like I said, we should have been winning this game 3 or 4-0. Once again, we just can't finish our dinner. So it does come to full time. 2-0 Liverpool is the scoreline that ends the game. And we do pick up the three points. Obviously, it's good to pick up three points. However, I do believe we could have won that game by maybe even more goals. But loads of bad news at the end of that game. Another injury to Philip Coutinho. Now he's came back, he's made such a huge impact on the team, and now he's injured again. Why are you doing this to me, EA? Why are you doing this to me? He's out for three weeks. Three weeks without Philip Coutinho. That is just too big of an injury to ignore, man. Coutinho out for three weeks. The guy's on fire. He set up so many goals. He scored so many goals. Literally saved us a win in the last episode. Kind of saved us in this episode as well. Pulling goals back, etc. It should be a lot better than that. We've got Leverkusen coming up. But before we get into that game against Leverkusen in the Champions League, I want to look at the Premier League title. Man United playing Benfica, Liverpool against Leverkusen, Bayern Munich against Sevilla, and Paris against Barcelona is the semi-finals of the Champions League games. I want to see exactly who goes through there and who will be playing in that final. Talking of finals, we lost, lost to Man United, as you guys know. Man United only one point away from us, but they do have a game in hand. Just notice they've got a game in hand of us. We've lost only two games this season. We've had a lot of draws, man. 12 draws to Chelsea's four and Manchester United's seven. Two losses, that ain't bad at all. One goal after one goal difference, but that game in hand could prove to be something big. Huge game, man. Champions League football, the first leg of that semi-final against Leverkusen. So if we can pick up a win, we should be fine when it comes to that second leg. However, if we don't pick up a win, this is gonna be a very big uphill battle because Leverkusen has been doing so well. Let's go out there, let's go get a win. Let me see that team sheet, please. I wanna show you guys exactly the squad we put out there. Jack Butlin in goal, Cacello, Cacello, Cancello Van Dyke. Clavan joining each other at the back again with Robertson playing left back. Wijnaldum, Sanchez and Stewart coming in for his Champions League debut because that kid has been doing so well for us. We've got Mane, Salah and Aubameyang up top. Let's get into the game. Let's go and win Mbappe even. Let's get it. Here is Salah. Plays it to Wijnaldum. We've got Aubameyang and Mbappe. Like I said, that's who I meant, all right? Mbappe, beautiful skill from him. Fires Wijnaldum. Wijnaldum goes down. Is that a pen ref or is that a free kick? It's a free kick exactly where Coutinho scored in the last episode. And guess what? Coutinho is not in the team. He's injured. He would have been in the team, but for that freaking injury, man. Let's see what he can do from this kind of position. Come on, Aubameyang. Come on, son. It's Aubameyang off the bar. Oh, my God. That was so close. Cancelo trying to get a shot away. Renato Sanchez wins it back. Come on, boys. Stewart into Aubameyang. Has a second attempt, and he can't put enough power behind it. Leno's in the way. Where are you going, Valtman? Plays it into the middle to Chicharito Hernandez. He's dangerous, Chicharito. We can't let him get too many chances. Cancelo for Liverpool. Plays it down the left-hand side. We'll tap that on again. And there is the ball. What a ball from Robertson. Mbappe waiting for some support here. Mbappe gets it into the middle. Wijnaldum was about to bomb one into that net, mate. I'm telling you, it was going to look like a nuke. Renato Sanchez played forward. Where's my support at, boys? Get that forward, there you go, there's some support on the right hand side. It's whipped in by Cancelo and it's Aubameyang off the bar again. Come on man, we need to be putting these chances in the back of the net. How am I missing that? Come on Renato, plays it forward. Oh, I see the ball. Look at that for a ball, the vision. And here goes Mbappe. Mbappe, I'll catch you later mate, leaves him in Tesco. Mbappe round his man, it's Mbappe. How have I put that wide? No. 
That should be ending up in the back of the net. I've just missed the target. I've sent him to Tesco, man. Where's that whistle, ref? Just blow it up. There it is, full time. 90th minute. We'll take a nil-nil draw against Leverkusen. That's fine. Not real big chances in the in the um, game. The only two big chances is literally where we hit the woodwork. Other than that, not many chances in the game, man. I tried to bring up players to do the business. Mane, Werner, even brought on, I think, Pulisic. We just couldn't do it. Now for the second leg, we've got Leverkusen in the Champions League. But this time, they're stepping into our park. It's time we show them that we are the dominant force in the Champions League. We're the team that's going to make it to, I believe, the semi-finals of the Champions League. Let's go out there. Let's get a win. Let's go, boys. Come on. Oh, there it is. Man United drawing, PSG drawing. Everybody has drew in their quarter-final tie. It comes down to the second leg for every game. Now, let's get it. Here we go. Liverpool lineup. We got Jack Butler in goal. We got Arnold at the back, teaming up with my boy Robertson, Van Dijk, and Saar at the back, too. Hendo, Sanchez, and Chan in the middle. Salah, Mane, and Aubameyang starting up top, which means Mbappe it drops to the bench. Let's go out there. Let's get a win. These boys can do it. Come on. Hopefully we don't miss the Brazilian wizard that goes by the name of Coutinho too much. But we should have this game in the bag. Come on, boys. Bring that forward. Oh, that's a lovely ball. And the space for Mane to run into. Here we go. It's Sadio Mane. Finish it. Bang. Mohamed Salah pops in the rebound. We're only four minutes into the game. And the new left winger that we're playing him in. I'm playing him in left wing. Even though you guys like me to play him in right wing. I play Mane on the left. I've played him in left wing. And he's banged one into the back of the net. I know a lot of people would have been mad at me if I left this guy out of the team because of his performance against Hoffenheim. That's why he's in the squad and he's scoring goals that's what he does where are we going Sadio plays it back into Alexander Arnold Hendo Hendo lays one off it's short it's sweet and it's bang what a finish get in there boys Mohamed Salah with the finish you can't stop us right now damn what a goal I played it short to every channel I was like go on, go on son have a pop it's hit the defender look at that for us it's an overhead kick Come on, boys. Woo! What a finish. Pass one of the best goalkeepers as well. Leno can't stop us. Where are you going then, Leverkusen? They're holding the ball on that right-hand side. Oh, they've still got the ball on the right-hand side. I've gone back and forth. He's left me a Tesco. It's into the middle. Get it out. Okay. Okay. 2-1. He's left me a Tesco. I was running out of breath. But they've scored anyway. Bender with the goal. Still 2-1. They've got an away goal, but we're winning on aggregate. It should be all good in the hood. Javier Hernandez played forward into Valan. No. He's dangerous, you know, Valand. He's played it to the left-hand side. Here's Oscar. No. Good save. No. It's 2-2. Two -two. From 2-0 two up to 2-2. Two -two. We should be winning this game, man. They've got two chances and two goals. God's sake. I don't care if our goals looked a little bit lucky, all right? We've got this. Let's go, Sanchez. Play that down the left. Here goes Robertson. We've got Salah with us. We'll play that down the left-hand side and find Aubameyang. Now here goes Salah into the middle. Half it, son. Half it. That's how you play beautiful football, son. That is how you play beautiful football. And they're going to celebrate together as well. Or not. I don't know what they're doing. They're hugging the kids. I don't know. All I know is they're celebrating together. That was a beautiful football for Liverpool. And Mane scores his first goal in the Champions League. Come on. Where are we going with this end, though? Into the middle. Robertson lays one off. To Renato Sanchez, off the bar. Aubameyang up, Leno was always taking that. Renato's shot off the bar was crazy. Where are we going with the throw? We'll play that back to Salah. Into the middle, lay that one off. Here we go, it's Emre Chan. Off the bar, man. How many times are we going to hit the woodwork? Leno punches it away. We should be putting that one into the back of the net as well. We know Emre Chan can hit those kind of shots. Sanchez can hit those kind of shots on the day. Those are ending up in the back of the net, mate. Here's Salah. Oh, that's beautiful. Into Renato. Lays one off again. I told you we can hit them. We just can't find the back of the net. Either Leno's in the way or we're hitting the woodwork work right now. Emre Chan. Down the left-hand side into Pulisic. I see the ball over the top. Into the goal scorer of two goals, Mohamed Salah. Probably taking on man of the match as he sends up to Tesco. Mohamed Salah. Mohamed Salah. Looking for that hat trick. I tried to give it to him before the end of the game. We could have passed that ball off. But no. I've gone for goal on his right foot. His weaker foot. And missed the target. We've got a corner right at the end of the game. Put this one into the back of the net, boys. No, nope, it's not going to end up. Wait. Wait for it. Wait for it. It's Pulisic. No, 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 no. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, what a finish! What a finish! Oh, he's gonna dab one of them! What a goal, son! Pulisic, no, can't have that one, mate. Have yourself a second opportunity. Combine! That's two of them in the same game. That's probably goal of the game. Probably goal of the season, though. Into the top corner. Not even Neuer would have stopped that. The Gea wouldn't have stopped that. Stop that. Damn! And there it is. Full time. We've made it to the semi finals of the Champions League, which means we could be playing Benfica, Man United, Bayern Munich, forgot who they were playing, Paris Saint Germain, or Barcelona in the semi finals. And we could, in fact, make it to the final. I repeat it again. Istanbul is coming back. Sevilla, that's who it was, and they've drew again. I'm not sure who's gone through on those games, you know. Oh my god, this makes it interesting. This career mode has literally been the rivalry between Liverpool and Manchester United. If both of those teams make it to the final in the Champions League yet again, making it to the final after we had the final in the EFL Cup. We also played them and lost to them. That's twice we've lost to them. If we play them in the final after we beat Barcelona, I'm predicting it, we're going to beat Barcelona. And I'm predicting them to beat Bayern Munich. I am not letting them be third time lucky. I'm going to steal the Premier League from them. I'm going to steal the Champions League from them like they stole the EFL Cup from me, mate. I'm just not having it, all right? I'm just not having it. And talking about that rivalry between Manchester United and Liverpool, I want to go ahead and look at the Premier League title where Manchester United is now one point away from Liverpool with the same amount of goal difference. They've lost more games than us. We've drew a lot of games. Hopefully we can win. Yo, this is looking really interesting now. Stoke West Brom and Crystal Palace at the bottom of the table, the way it stands. If you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash that like button down below. That will be appreciated. Subscribe to the channel if you are new as well. A shout out of the day goes out to let me just go ahead and find someone on Snapchat. Goes out to Tommy Newnham, all right? If you want to get a Snapchat, all you have to... A Snapchat? If you want to get a shout out, all you have to do is smash that like button, turn on your post notifications, and then screenshot it and send it to me on any social media or links down below. Also, don't forget I stream on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash post that game, link down below as well. And you can donate for free through Gork Box as well. There's a link down below. I will be doing giveaways soon as well, which obviously relate to that and relate to other stuff as well. So make sure you do everything that I say. Every little helps, as a very good branch would say. But yeah, I'll catch you you guys in the next one it has been me you guys have been great and i'll see you in a bit peace you be a